Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we are talking about the Moon Cube. Woo woo! All right, but first, a reminder we are in a Thor News middle of the month December fundraiser push, and I've only got $1,081 left to raise. Thanks to Christmas Carol, Patricia Robert, and everybody cool in Asteroid Fight Club. So if you'd like to donate to keep Thor News up and running, I got a mailbox, a PayPal, a Venmo, a Cash App, a Patrol, nothing but love for y'all. Okay, let's go. Yay, we're talking about fun moon artifacts, mysteries, and shit. What had happened was we went to the moon and then we made the space shuttle. And then they were like, we were like, no, we're never going back to the moon. And then we were like, we're canceling the space shuttle because it's too expensive. At the time they canceled the space shuttle, I think our national debt was at like $8 trillion? So Now it's almost $3 trillion. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So China's like, hey, we'll go back to the moon. And they sent a rover there. Chinese rover spots a moon cube and opens a new lunar mystery. Dun, dun, dun. This is brought to us by John Kelvey and Inverse. An image has tantalized the internet. I'll say that again. An image has tantalized the internet. An enigmatic cube-shaped object on the far side of the moon. But strange cube conjures up a few images. An alien Starbucks a secret Russian moon base, Gene Ray's time cube instantiated, a time-traveling porta potty from 1932 skyscraper construction site, Saturn's cube. See, what had happened was, in November, the Chinese lunar rover U-2-2 spotted the cube in the distant, from far, side of the moon. The rover has since been making its way toward the mysterious object, investigating its origins, and unfortunately, for the overly imaginative, it's unlikely to be aliens or something metaphysical. But ask yourself, if it was aliens or it was metaphysical, would they tell us? A lot of NASA scientists have said if we ever found evidence of a superior culture to ours, our civilization would probably quickly collapse. And quick collapse civilization or slow collapse is bad. As Paul Byrne, a professor in Earth and Planetary Sciences at Washington University in St. Louis sees it, he knows exactly what it is. The more mundane confluence of rocks, light, and shadow. All right, break. Are y'all familiar with Richard Hoagland? All right, he was like one of the original conspiracy theorists. And A, one of the most interesting things they said was, he said, was that the, the initial nasa rover that went to mars and went there to pick up a microchip and from that microchip they built out your iphone super fascinating theory i i mean you don't have to believe it but look into the works of richard hoagland he's got some very interesting points and you know he said that like everything is car compartmentalized and the lie is different at every level and i think we can all agree space agencies and what governments tell us um are weird you know did cryptocurrency come from off-world aliens? I would say that as planetary defense commander, I would imagine we have some type of anti-gravity ion superior in energy to what we use. Remember, the petroleum combustion engine was invented in like 1863. And so the idea that with all the technology we've done on the Moore's Law Curve, the idea that we've never come up with anything better than the combustion engine is freaking ridiculous. I mean, I, I imagine they have floating ships and cruise lines you know that why do you think all the billionaires are getting into space um if you want to attract all the super duper hot ladies you know take them up the upper atmosphere or i guess to the moon yeah i think we have deep space marines um but this is a woo, -woo episode where you're allowed to let your imagination run wild am i related to valiant thor the venusian who came to earth to hopefully bring peace makes sense to me um, and it would explain how I ended up going from me to planetary defense commander, but I guess that's a video for another day. And what if, you know, the whole 9-11 thing was just so they could weaken everybody's belief and resolve and everything so that they could unveil cryptocurrency. I don't know. Everything is weird, man. Everything in this world and universe, like the whole world we know now is a hundred times more confusing than it was in 1999 when Nostradamus says, terror would come from the sky and mars would rule with an iron fist we live in strange days my friends well one of the cool things that richard hoagland talked about was that there are like ice not ice but like castles made out of glass on the moon he he'd said that like if you cr like create build something like out of glass in a vacuum 
It won't have any air bubbles in it, so then glass will be stronger than steel. And so he had said that there is a, you know, a bunch of glass castles on the moon. And I know there's a guy, Crow777, who is always showing the weird glitches in the moon. And I have this weird theory that maybe they're projecting over the moon and that they have a lot of bases on it. This is all just, you know, we're speculating here. It's okay to speculate sometimes, man. It's a brick house. While scientists mostly agree that it's probably just the remnants of a meteor impact. What? It's almost as dumb as when they say the moon was created when two planets smashed into each other and created the moon. It could be one of the dumbest theories I've ever heard, but science still runs with it to this day. But hey, netizens are allowed to come up with your own theories. Anyway, Paul Byrne, a professor in Earth and Planetary Sciences at Washington University in St. Louis, sees it. He knows exactly what it is. It's a more mundane confluence of rocks, light, and shadow. The object in that image is most definitely categorically absolutely a boulder, Byrne tells the universe. There's pretty much nothing else I can think it might be, my potential lack of imagination notwithstanding. It may not fire the imagination like an alien origin, but the boulder will help scientists better understand the history and composition of the moon and provide a picture of what could form other stranger outcroppings on the moon of our nearest neighbor. Why haven't we gone back to the moon, man? You know, we landed there, what, 64? And then spent, like, 50 years being like, yeah, we're just not that interested. Burns says that better understanding the moon could help astronauts better learn how to better live off the land and utilize lunar resources as part of lunar outposts. The moon, the moon cube's coming. But we'll be building them ourselves. So what is the mysterious moon cube? China's robotic U-2-2 lunar rover spotted a remarkably square-looking gray object on the horizon on its 36th lunar day. According to reporting by Space.com, which translated an entry in the rover mission diary from the Chinese language website, our space. Taken from around 260 feet away, the mystery hut, or mystery house, as our space put it, appears like a tiny cube, the same color as lunar regolith. But with a black rectangle in the center, almost like a door or a Kubrick-esque monolith. And you know they found a, a monolith on uh, Mars's moon Phobos, and the two moons of Mars are fear and terror, Deimos and Phobos. Everything's so weird these days, bro. But yeah, does that look like a freaking boulder? You almost looks like a stonehenge type thing. Zoom on the picture and it becomes significantly blurry. Thanks for that information. But the overall impression of something will disconcertingly square proportion remains. What? All right, I'm bad at English. That's a. I that, no, I don't think it's a boulder. No way. Maybe it's a backdoor to Pluto. But while human craftsmanship tends to result in square angles and straight lines, not all square angles and straight lines result from human or alien handiwork. Burn guesses inverse through a few scenarios, or guides, I'm sorry, I forgot how to read and shit. This could be an illusion. Wait, I thought you were 100% sure, dude. Could be an illusion. What might, why might it appear square or cubic? First, the image looks to have a pretty low resolution. Oh, thanks, buddy. Of features at or beyond the horizon, so it might not actually be square. It might have just been forged that way by natural causes. Well, like the video before this one, I showed how boulders were made from volcanoes. So, I don't know. I'm not really buying that. The most likely outcome is that the rover gets close to the object. It will become apparent that it's just a boulder or multiple boulders that aliens stacked on top of each other. Or extraplanetary pareidolia. Kind of like this face. When they're like, hey, it's a face of a human being. And then they had to go there and tell us, no, it's not. Remember how, the, you know, things are so weird. Remember, they're like, there's water on Mars. There's no water on Mars. There's water on Mars. We found water on Mars. There's no water on Mars. Oh, things are crazy, man. Speaking of Valiant Thor, in 1976, the Viking one order took a photo of a rock in the Sidonian region of Mars that looked an awful lot like a face. Humans are neurologically primed to see faces, reading faces being pretty crucial for human survival. So it's not surprisingly... Some people would see a face somewhere on Mars, but hey, it's still just rocks, light, and shadow. Eh, 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 I don't know. Meh, I don't know. Where's the moon cube? It's in your butt. I'm sorry, it's in your imagination. 
or whatever the moon cube might be, it's currently about a football field away from U22 rover, which is the first rover to explore the far side of the moon. Both the rover and the mysterious object sit in the Von Karman crater, 110 mile diameter deep impact crater, southern polar region of the moon. Oh man, maybe the moon is hollow and there's a whole, it's, the moon's a giant spaceship, so it's just a doorway to get inside. Meteor or comet impacts are a good way to generate and disperse boulders in the moon without weather or water, and the moon cube and U22 sit in a double crater. The Von Karman crater is one of many in much, much larger South Pole Aiken, Clay Aiken Basin, which measures nearly 1,600 miles across. What is the Chinese U22 rover? CNSA launched the U22 rover in December 2018 as part of Ch China's Chang J4 lunar rabbit mission. And the first soft landing on the dark side of the moon, January, happened January 3rd, 2019. Very interesting. Very interesting stuff. Very interesting stuff. So yeah, what is it? Nobody knows. How soon will we learn exactly what the mysterious moon cube really is? Well, Y22 is an impressive instrument, but it's not built for speed. All Chinese scientists plan to investigate the moon cube mystery hut it will likely take two to three months with intervening periods of inactivity to figure out what they're going to tell people during the lunar night for the rover to get to the site of the mystery so you'll have to hang on i'll have to hang on we'll all have to hang on to find out whatever they're going to tell us the moon cube moon house really is all right cool excellent wonderful Hey, if you want to be my fundraising Christmas miracle, that would be great. I try to give you guys my all as your planetary defense commander. You can make a contribution through my mailbox, my PayPal, my Venmo, my Cash App, my Patron. I've only got $1,081 left to raise for December's fundraiser goal. I do one month, once a month. It's just so crazy because you guys are so awesome. And thank you very, very, very much to Christmas Carol, to Patricia, to Robert, to Barbara, to Wizard of Oz, to JJ, to The Goods, to Texas Angel, Mist, Andrea, Alexis, Max, Lauren, Richard, Glenda, Arnica, Lightsoul, Dan, Marlita, Brian, and KJ, and everybody in Asteroid Fight Club and everybody out there who is interested in things that are interesting. God bless everyone. Stay cool. I will talk to you all in the near future.